selfish. Uh, arts and heritage and cultural industries, recreation and sports contribute, just so you know, <laughs> the culture industry is part of a strong economy. It's not as a result of one. It's actually part of the entire, the entire economy. $6.1 billion in our economy and creates more than 65,000 jobs a year. And those are older statistics. It has grown immensely, especially post-COVID. Uh, just, so just to give you an idea as well too, in our province, for the 4.3 million people we have, 1.3 million of them are volunteers and many of them are in that sector because as Mr. Taves was saying, people are driving to ballet and to hockey and all of those parents and everybody who contributes thousands of hours, I'm sure many of you have, contribute to that economy. I'd also like to bring up that when arts and culture thrive in our province, Alberta thrives. And not only are we seeing that homegrown talent here, and I wanted to talk a little bit, just for a few seconds, about the film, and ta the film tax credit. I remember, and you know, Mr. Taves, you can probably talk about this a little bit, when we first came to you to talk about that tax credit, and that tax credit was turned away because they didn't believe in a tax credit. They didn't believe that for every dollar that we put into the film industry that five would be created. I'm really glad that the tone has changed and that that came around, but boy oh boy, was it ever hard to convince a conservative finance minister to invest right. in film. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to stop there. Before we get into open debate here, Ms. Smith, I should have reminded you, you have one rebuttal left as well, should you choose to use it for this question. All right, open debate. Mr. Taves, kick us off. You know, I, I won't apologize for having to see the value proposition on a, a film and television tax credit because I believe handling Albertans' taxpayer dollars needs to be done very responsibly and carefully. But there was a value proposition, and when that was adequately demonstrated, we went forth and approved the funding in the budget, and it proved to be the right decision. Because right now, we're, actually, we're seeing, again, not only um, hundreds of millions pushing almost a billion dollars of film and television productions in Alberta annually, but we're seeing permanent studios and infrastructure built, like to investment to coming in. back right, to Alberta. In, so I, it's interesting that we're having this conversation because when we were having the discussions originally with the sector, when they came here, when the sector was moving, imagine that all over the world, everybody is competing for these dollars right now, everyone. <laughs> and there are things that are changing in the United States right now where they're changing their tax laws and everything, and in fact, even rolling back human rights in certain, in certain states in the United States. People are leveraging that and coming to Alberta. It is now a billion dollar industry. And we we did show them our work. We did prove that this was possible. We did bring that forward. I'm Lena. very grateful that we actually had the ability to find this Lena. as we came forward. But having right, said that, Lena. how Lena. many billions of dollars did we miss Lena. out on by Lena. not jumping in at the very beginning? With, with all, with with all due respect, your first business proposition, the valuation you provided did not cut it. And that's why it's simply You see the eye rolling? Firm. That's exactly what we saw when we <clears> brought in the value proposition <laughs> the first time. So, so here, here's my premise. I believe in the va value of a, a thriving arts and culture sector, and we know that's a broad spectrum. Everything from opera to ensuring that families have opportunities to enroll their, their, their children in drama, dance, um, or, or play an instrument, you name it. It's broad, it's important to the province. But this is my <clears throat> other observation. You know what, that sector thrives when we have a strong economy for two reasons, number one, when we ensure that we have a very competitive business environment, it attracts uh, investment. If I could jump it attracts in, investment into areas of the arts and entertainment, right, which grows in the economy. When you're talking about a competitive environment, particularly for the film industry, they actually come to you with their value proposition, what they're looking for. They're just looking for an even, even playing field that is not only here, but across the United States. Talk to any Bollywood film organizer that wants to come to Alberta. They all want to come here because of our beautiful, beautiful areas that they're able to do all of this. And it's billions of dollars that are possible to be able to come in. But we weren't willing to look past that until the, it, I'm not really sure what there, shifted. There are, because originally, um, the I'm minister had seconds. brought in sure. a cap. There, 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 there are lots of people who, there are lots of people, there are lots of people, there are lots of people, there are there are lots of people who will come to Alberta if you pay them to come. What we need come? is a valid business Isn't that proposition what we did with oil before and we gas? make a decision, full stop. <laughs> I'm sure the sector will be happy to hear right, that the minister that paid them the to question. come. All right, all right, all right.